Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all doing well. In this video, we will be unboxing the lovely Tiger One. <clears throat> Ultimately, probably my favourite tank. It's the tank that I've built the most of. I've got an RC Tiger One. I've got a 116 static model of the Tiger One. I've got the Airfix Tiger One, which was an Academy Rebox. Now I have the Trumpeter Tiger One. So, this does come with a Zimmerit. It's a medium production, about 550 parts ish. You've got seven different designs for this. Oh, excuse me. Should be a fun little build. So, let's get right into it. So, I have already tried to film this video like three times. So, parts of it are open. So, the lower hole. It's got this lovely bit of detail on it. Lovely bit of armor texture on there. Lovely. It, it, to be honest, it even feels how I imagine it would feel. And they've even done it to the bottom as well. Bear in mind, this is a part that isn't going to be seen, but they've still taken to do all of it. Which is nice, they even have uh, like the welds as well with it, which is just amazing. The fact that they've done it on a piece that doesn't even get, like, doesn't even get seen is just great. I'm sorry that I'm stuttering a bit. They've even done it to this little part at the back, but of course you'll have your back panel on there. Yeah, all in all, lovely bit of detail. So with this, I won't bother unpacking this because I don't know if I'm going to be the, uh, do the Zimmerit or not. Haven't quite decided yet. But on this, it's all a flat surface. That's why I won't take it out because it's no point because it's just a flat surface. It's not really much to it. And then you've got your turret ring which, you know, will only get used depending on what turret I use. And so this turret gets used with the Zimmerit. This turret is to match sort of the body or the lower hole. And as you'll see here is this is a flat surface. This is so that this surface can either have um, like the armor textured um, piece run along here, or you can have the Zimmerit sheet run along there. And then on this one, you've got um, the armor texture again, which is really nice. Probably the best turret that I've actually seen molded for one of these. Because if we have a look at the Airfix one, the Airfix one's smooth. All over the whole tank is smooth. Get that back into its spot. And then we've got the gun mantlet, which is all zimmered up. Now you have got another one of these, which is just plain smooth, which I think is really nice. So drums I have gone like full out with this kit. And then we've got the upper hole, which again looks nice. All right, you've got a little bit of clean up to do, um, which is pretty normal. For any model kit really um, but even so even the detail on it is lovely it's great I love the detail because we've got the texture up here along here along there we do have some photo etch for the vents that came in the kit which is brilliant but yeah the detail on it is amazing so you can sort of get the idea when you put them together, that will kind of be how it looks. I mean, the fit is nice. The fit is lovely. And to be honest, a lot of it will be covered up. So there's not really much to worry about on that. So even if it doesn't fit so great on the sides, it doesn't matter. 
it's having a either the Zimmerit sheet or the side panels put over it, so you won't actually see it. Which is then when we come to this, which I will just open up now. So, of course, these are all the non-Zimmerit parts. So, as I was saying with the side, you've got that lovely bit of armor texture going along there. This is the armor textured gun mantlet. Then you've got your um, your mud guards and your front panel. You've got your side skirts. You've got your um, engine cover. You've got your mud guards for the rear. You've got the inner piece for your gun mantler, and you've got your tooling, your FPE, um, your um, exhaust shields, I guess that's what you'd call them. Then you've got your um, upper front mantlet, uh, upper front panel even, that would have your driver's port and your machine gun port. And then you've got your um, gearbox covers. <clears throat> This one, you've got a two-piece gun bar uh, gun muzzle. You've got your rear panel, which is textured. I'm not sure if there's one that's not textured. Or if so, you'd probably just put the Zimmer out over the top of that. Top of the turret, which is all smooth. You've got your, ex your escape hatch that sits on the side of the turret. Then you've got your hatches, you've got I can't remember what that bit covers. I'm sure someone in the comments will tell me. And then you've got sort of the bits that your gearboxes would go on to. Road wheels. We all know what the road wheels look like and how annoying they are. We've also got the sprockets, the idler, and then we've got the caps that go over the wheels. Still won't spend too much time on this because we all know what tiger road wheels look like and how annoying they are with this because this is small parts i probably won't take this out um but you can see it's got the exhaust sort of cover mount we've got our road wheel suspension arms we've got more tool limb um but yeah i, I won't take this out because it is small parts I'm actually saying that might as well <laughs> Seeing as it all just be going back in a box. <laughs> the road wheels, however, I won't, because we all know road wheels. Aha, that is more part. Oh my god, they are all small parts. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> um, both sheets are the exact same, so I can show you one. Don't have to show you the other. So we've got our periscope now. Fun, I don't actually think this has clear para uh, periscopes like the other ones. We've got our little handles, got these parts. But yeah, this does go into a great bit of detail. I've got our um, tow hooks. Yeah, it's a fair bit of detail. It's going to be a fun kit. And most of all, so we've got... We have two bags of tracks. Now, I might go aftermarket tracks on this. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but these look like they are singles. So these will probably be, yeah. So these will have to be glued, which is a shame. I don't like gluing tracks. It is very, very annoying. I have no idea what's actually in this one. I think this one might be like the turret basket and everything. Let's have a look, shall we? Aha! We've got a tie ropes. We've got a two piece barrel. Wish it was a one piece, but can't have everything. And we've got our driver's hole. We've got the turret basket. 
got more tools. We've got the gun, uh, the machine gun mount lets. We've got the storage box. We've got the machine gun for the top of the tower. We've actually got the bracket for that as well. I'm, the only thing I wish this was a one piece. A two piece barrels are very annoying. A little bit of photo etch. So this is just for the vents on the back. Oh, throwing it around. There's nothing else with it. And then we've got our decals. So all the identities for this particular tank. Before we get into the instructions. See, this is the other reason why I love working with Trumpeter. So they give you the whole paint guide. Then they've got A, which will be the one that I have the most um, information on. And then you have the rest. Which is very, very nice. I wish there was a bit more information on the tank it's on the tanks themselves, but oh. and now we have our Zimmerit sheet. So this saves kind of trying to do it all, which is really nice. You just cut it out, glue it on, done. Okay, now let's get on with the instructions. So, here we've already got first Zimmerit, coat, modes, or no Zimmerit, coat. <clears throat> but you kind of get an idea of how the Zimmerit will go on. So, here is what I was talking about. So here you either put on that side piece that I told you, or you put on these. And you got the um, road wheel axles, uh, suspension arm, sorry. Then you've got the road wheels, gearbox covers. And then you've got T1 times 96. So that's 96 track links just to build this track up. And then it looks like you kind of build a section that um, keeps it all together and then you've got an option to do the Zemmerich coat or not and then you sort of build up the upper hole before you even put it onto the tank to an extreme degree that you build it up well that is like completely built up yeah so once it's completely built up you then put it onto the tank. Again, you've got the Zemmerich coat. And then, obviously, depending on the Zemmerich coat that you put on, then depends on if you've got pieces to cut off. But then, um, if you are doing a Zemmerich coat, you follow this part. If you're not, you just have to do that. And then you've got the turret ring that you put onto there. Then you start building up sort of like the top of the turret. Then you've got these pieces which will hold tracks on the side of the turret. Then you start completely doing the tank. Then you've got that two piece barrel that I was talking about. But yeah and then that's your tank done so all in all it's not going to look like it's going to be a bad build 23 steps but then within that you've got a fair amount of steps anyway but to be honest the way the um trumpeter lay out their models is usually pretty good. Um, I do like Trumpeter models, how they're laid out. Um, 
especially the pamphlet that I'm building, that's laid out pretty well. I mean, I haven't really touched it in a while, but I've done a few little bits here and there. But yeah, all in all, this trumpeter kit, it, it, it gets the, uh, gets the Mac RC approval. I don't know if I'm going to start making that a thing or not, but yeah, it, it gets the thumbs up of approval. It's a very nice laid out kit. It's not very expensive. And for the amount that you get, considering it's not that expensive, is pretty impressive. Um, would I advise that you go and get one? Now, I know no one's actually asked this question, but I'm going to answer it anyway. Would I advise for anyone to go and get one? If you have the spare money kicking around, then sure, why not? If you're a Tiger One enthusiast, why not? It's a good looking kit. However, there are probably some more around this price range. They won't have as much detail. Um, but again, Airfix Tiger One. About 30 quid. You can get a 116 Tiger One. Yes, it needs a fair bit of work on it, but you can get one of them for about 70 pound. This, I think, was in the region of 40 pound. But, for the amount of detail you get, 100% worth it. I've built a lot of models. This is up there with some of my other ones that I've built. This is very good. This is sort of like a tack on quality, but in a trumpeter box. Um, tack on makes some really nice kits. And actually, if you go to Dasfurk, you can get them cheaper. Anyway, 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 back, back onto Tiger One. Sorry, drifting off a little bit. Um, yes, I would advise getting this kit. This is a lovely kit. As I said, if you are a Tiger One enthusiast, this is your kit right here. If you are looking for a build that you can build onto because of the details already there, this is your kit. If you don't want to do the armor textures, but you want a model with the textures, again, your kit. If you want Zimmerit, but you don't know how to do it, this comes with a Zimmerit sheet, so you don't even have to do it yourself. This is going to tick so many model builders boxes. It's great. And I am going to have great fun building this. Again, this will be built on Twitch live. Um, same as the T90. I'm just waiting for a couple of bits to come through and then I'll be streaming again. But along with that, once it's built, I will come back and make a video of this complete and what I think of it as a complete model, same as the T90. There will also be a video of a mini art Panzer IV that I will be doing. And um, just saying how I got on with it. For now though, it is just going to be unboxing videos. Um, the next one <clears throat> will be, if I can get the lid. Will be this little guy, a little Panzer Kumpfagen too, by Tamya. This will be a very, very nice kit. It's it's very small. Um, I will just give you a little sneak peek. So this is the Panzer two, and we'll do a little comparison right now. All right, we'll do a little comparison on this video. So here's the little Panzer II, right? So I don't know if any of you have seen it, um, but the whole, look at the little baby. 
All right, so here's the little baby. Now look at the big baby. All right. Now bear in mind, these aren't built up. But this one's not going to be much bigger than this. This one, however, isn't going to be much bigger than that either. But you can kind of get an idea of how much upgrading was going through with the, with the German army during World War II. Bear in mind, they started off with these. They ended up with these. Um, I do also have a what if tank as well, which was the E100. Yes, I do have an E100 series. Um, the other thing with the TAM is they're also made to be RCs. I build them as static models. Um, you can make them look great. So here's one that I've done. Well, uh, you can actually check this out in an earlier video as well. It's not great, but that was the first time that I properly uh, tried to weather up. But yeah, so there's a sneak peek of the next video, guys, which will be coming out next week. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Sorry, I've buffled on a little bit. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know if you go and pick this kit up or if this has helped you decide to go and pick this kit up. And as always, guys, like, subscribe, comment your favourite model or whatever model you've got sat on the bench right now. I'd love to know. But that's it from Mac RCA Models. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video with that Panzer 2. Peace.